Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back. So I had a once in a lifetime opportunity to see and drive this Rivian R1T up close. Uh, my buddy Ben, his brother Jimmy, actually uh, helps run the Rivian Stories page on YouTube, which I'll leave a link down below. But here's the Rivian R1T. And so my first impression actually looking at this thing is this thing's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Uh, I've only seen like a bunch of YouTube videos, people describing this truck as cute because it's, it's, you know, people say it's tiny, but honestly, I disagree. You know, of course it's very low to the ground right now because you know, it's in its very lowest setting, but I'll kind of go over later. Like you'll see a video of just actually how high this thing sits. But overall though, I'm definitely digging this thing. It's extremely fast and like I said, with the truck bed, like I said, when that, when that comes down, it definitely extends out to a seven foot truck bed. But, but yeah, overall, my expectations are definitely, uh, this, this truck definitely exceeds my expectations. Uh, I was kind of hesitant on it at first, but actually after seeing it in person and all that, I'm definitely liking it. So I mean, here's the little charge port up here to, with, so you can actually charge your vehicle as, it's, as it sits. Uh, for, in terms of the Rivian headlights, I love these headlights. Got the Rivian logo there, and the nice uh, the vertical headlights here. There's a nice light bar across the front of the vehicle. Got some huge tow hooks here in the front, and just look at these like massive tires. Like I know the video doesn't do it justice, but these tires are huge, and so just overall like kind of Rivian definitely got this one right in terms of uh, attention to detail and just overall like what makes a good truck. I said, I'll, I'll shut up for a second and just do another walk around. But so for me, I'm 6'3", so this is where I'm roughly for my height. But, but yeah, looking at this thing, it's awesome. So yep, I'm here in South Carolina. Jimmy drove this thing up from Florida. And something I've noticed too about the Rivian is, so when clo like when closing the door, I notice it does take a little bit more force than a normal vehicle to close your to close your door. So you definitely have to put a little bit more effort to close the door. But I, I don't know, I kind of like that overall, just the the loud thump that it makes when you're when you're closing it. So the car's charging, so the fans are currently engaged. But yep, you have the nice uh, the Rivian logo, and I'm not sure if you can see it. It, it was doing it for a second, but this was. Uh, glowing green to show that it's charging Let's see if we can see it again nope all right so now everyone's curious about how to open this there's a little button right here it's all electric it just kind of pops out and this is it this does hold up to 250 pounds but as you can see there's definitely a lot of room in here uh, there is a camper option or i guess a stove option that can replace this for an additional amount uh, off the top of my head i don't remember, remember the exact amount but definitely a lot of storage here you can fit some golf clubs or say whatever uh, you want to put in there just to kind of keep everything out of sight out of mind and then to close it's pretty simple you just there we go gotcha the front was the, I mean, yeah front's yeah. already up that's up here and well it's got like a little manual or it's got it's got the automatic tonneau doesn't it Press that little button. It. And this is the lowest. So this Holy is the cow. lowest ride height. This is what we were on in sport mode. See now this is the lowest mode. Look at that. Three three fingers. That's that's all she's that's all she's got. Yeah, just how much lo much lower to the ground it is. All right, so according to Jimmy, this is the this is the highest that you can possibly like lift this Rivian. But look at it, just the clearance between the tire and the vehicle itself. Like actually, I almost fell out of it getting in. But so, so then when Jimmy said he wrapped this in a beautiful matte white, which it looks great. I, I'm definitely digging the, uh, the the matte color. So huge tires, but definitely like the way I'm describing this is like. It definitely doesn't do it justice. Like looking at this thing in person, finally sitting in it is great. Like this thing is is awesome. So opening up the door here. So everything in here, according to Jimmy, is recycled. So this is kind of like a recycled material here. All these seats are recycled vegan leather. This wood is also recycled. It's a beautiful touch display. 
and also a center console display. And this does have auto presenting doors. So if uh, the key is your phone now, or you can actually have a fob, but it literally just opens up. And here's the interior of the R1T. There you, as you can see, very comfortable seats when I got to drive it and sit in it. It's, it's very comfortable. It's nice center, center screen display here. So it does come with two displays, nice center console. The leg rim in the back was actually pretty impressive. Uh, you also have your all glass roof here. It's not a sunroof, it does not open up. It's more just a panoramic, but uh, and it is tinted as well because you know that would get pretty toasty uh, here in the summertime. So, and also uh, the, the Rivian also does have a similar, I guess, a, I can't remember what it's called for Rivian, but this is kind of like, you know, Tesla sentry mode. It, you know, detects motion and all that and does record just in case, uh, you know, someone decides to disrespect your vehicle in any way. So good on Rivian for that one. All right, so here's the leg room. So I was the last person to drive this. So I'm 6'3", and so for this is how I sit. And as you can see, I got plenty of room here. It sits very comfortable overall, and it is flat here along the back. So no having to worry about a, tr a huge transmission bump or anything. It does come with a screen here in the back. Here are your uh, couple USB-Cs. There's also additional USB-Cs here on each of the back of the headrests. And then for this screen here, this allows you know to uh, manipulate the climate control with your uh, heated rear seats and all that. The front seats are ventilated. I don't know if you can see, but you got heated and cooled seats in the front and just heated seats in the back. Here's your cup holder attachment here. So in the center, the seat here does lift up and there's some additional storage underneath. So I'll kind of show you like just what the, everything looks like uh, from the, the rear seat here. We're gonna go fast in this bad boy. The other thing I like about this is it lets you go um, two pedal and it doesn't yell at you. So lowest, yeah. Oh, shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Here in Jimmy's R1T by Rivian, we're about to uh, go fast in this bad boy. I don't know if I'm ready. Oh shit! <laughs> oh. Didn't get to go as fast as I wanted because you know we still got to be safe. But really, first impressions from driving this thing is this thing is stupid smooth. Like the turn radius is great. That I love the ride, the, like the ride height of this thing. That's that was something that definitely shocked me when I first saw this truck. I'm like, wow, this thing is it's pretty high off the ground because you know I've I've only seen videos where people describe this truck as cute. I, after driving and seeing in person, I wouldn't agree with that. Like, really, this truck is a great is a great size for oh yeah for especially for the price range and because what well, this is the first truck electric truck to be released mm -hmm. in the entire U.S. So Ben, you like the truck too? Yeah, man. I actually dig uh, the leg room back here is mad impressive. Yeah, just from the first impressions from driving this truck though, extremely smooth to handle the overall, like the turn radius was great. Like, you know, I, I flipped a Yui in this thing and it was very, sorry, that's 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 a, that's a blast to do, but that's no, it for, no, you're good. You're it's good. like, how much does this truck weigh? Uh, 7,100 pounds. So yeah, so for a truck that weighs 7,100 pounds, this thing's got some kick. It, this thing definitely goes uh, so if you're definitely one of those if you're looking into something like this around this size you know something that fits in the garage something that can tow but something that won't overall break the bank like this might be uh, definitely a, a viable option for you since it's a beautiful day in South Carolina to be uh, testing this out yeah when uh, yeah when Ben texts me that uh, his brother was in town for, with with his Rivian I had to drive down which <laughs> Like I said, if you haven't seen, because you you guys run Rivian Stories, correct, on YouTube? Correct. Yep. So yep. Rivian Stories on, on YouTube. So I'll leave a link down below for uh, for Jimmy's page with uh, with Rivian Stories, but definitely go check it out. I've definitely kind of been following them for a little bit with uh, with everything they've done along their Rivian journey. But I definitely uh, after, definitely after driving this, I definitely look forward to see like what Rivian has in the future, because you know you know Tesla's been kind of unchallenged, I guess, for the past. 
what, probably five, 10 years. Right. So that would definitely, with more EVs coming onto the market, I definitely look forward to seeing like more like vehicles like these uh, on the market. All right, so I just got back home and I figure I would provide some final thoughts in regards to my, R my first R1T experience. And overall, I thought it was great. Uh, I, I, like I said, I've never seen one of these up close, let alone drive one. So yeah, shout out to you, Jimmy, for letting me drive your brand new truck that you've had for like three weeks. So that, that was, that was pretty awesome of him, of him to let me, uh, to let me do that. And, and thanks, uh, Ben for, uh, for giving me the skinny that, uh, that Jimmy was in town. So that, that, that was pretty cool of you, but yeah, in regards, yeah, to the R1T, I like it. If I didn't have a Cybertruck on order, I would reserve an R1T today. Yeah, I liked it that much that I would reserve one. The only thing that would give me a little bit of pause is the lack of charging network. That's the only thing that scares me. Even though, yeah, I don't go out of town that much, but if I wanted to use it to, you know, like like to go out of state or something or to take a road trip, I would definitely have range, range anxiety in that vehicle. Cause you know, cause you know, Tesla has their very established supercharger network. So until maybe we get some like uh, some better like uh, a network out there to to charge non-Tesla vehicles, but that's like kind of my main thing right now. That kind of skews me away from anything other than a Tesla electric vehicle. But but really, but seeing the Rivian up close in person, like I was impressed. And this is from a Tesla owner. I was impressed with the vehicle which I know I'm, I'm going to get a lot of flack from Tesla owners out there. Like, you know, some of those very heavy Tesla enthusiasts that are probably going to give me some hate for that, but I don't, I don't care because like, I'm, I'm definitely glad to see that Tesla is finally being challenged because, you know, Tesla reigns supreme in the EV enterprise for the for over for about 10 years now. So I'm looking forward to the competition that's coming that will force Tesla to, you know, kind of step up the game and maybe start improving on some of their own flaws all right, that's all I got for you today. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and have, and have not yet subscribed, please smash that subscribe button down below. It definitely helps me out a lot. And like I said, I will leave the uh, a link in the description below for uh, the Rivian Stories YouTube page. Uh, feel free to, you know, go check out their page. They have a, they have a lot of educational content on Rivian and just kind of, and they, they, they're definitely good at keeping you up to date on all things Rivian. But other than that, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers!